Hi to Chaco. Focus versus Sock here. Oh, wait, is this Holscup? Is this Holscup? Wait, what? Was Holscup postponed to after Circup? Is that what happened? <laughs> wait a second. Uh, okay. So this is the finals of Holscup. Interesting. It's 1 0 for focus. Okay, I need to fix everything. We have a, a little hero thing. Uh, what is it? Archmage, he, he's dying. Is he gonna TP out? He storm bolts the blade master. He doesn't have the TP out yet. Is my... Uh... Come on, set score. Oh, it's best of... What is it? Best of five? I didn't expect to suddenly uh, be casting a finals. Come on, please still work. I hope I didn't break my overlay thing. I might have though. Oh, it gets a Mount King. Hmm. I see not working. <laughs> there it is. Okay, focus 1 0. Best of 5. Let me tweet. Live. Halls. Cup. Finals. Uh, which hall scope is it? Is it like the. Oh, actually, I know. 19. 19. Finals. So, first focus. Okay, I tweeted. Okay, meow. So we have uh, Sock, he's creeping. We have on uh, the other side, we have uh, oh, also my Twitch title. Let me fix that as well. And my title over here Halls Cup 19 Finals. A player's forces are under attack. And over here. Perfect. Jacko, perfect. Okay, we have, uh, you know, Shadowhunter, he's almost level 3. Blade Master, he's level 2. And meanwhile, over here, we have a Mount King. He's also uh, level 2, he's almost level 3. And it's the Archmage. What, what is he up to? Archmage, the Archmage is over here. He has Blizzard. He retrained to Blizzard. He's level 3, level 2 Blizzard. Level 1, uh, Bronze Aura. Mount King, he has some extra intelligence. But the Sobi Mask now as well. And the rope of magic that means infinite amounts of storm bolts. The creeps here. The creeps are beautiful, but how beautiful are they really? Because the Mount King is now level 3. And he gets clap, by the way. He has clap level 2. What is this Blizzard clap play here by Sog on Twisted Meadows? Is this something we've ever seen before? Uh, focus. Counter attacks or counter attacks, he attacks. He goes for the base of Sock. He have he doesn't have pillage, but he's upgrading pillage for sure. No, not for sure. Two towers, by the way. So probably early game there was some harassment done by Sock. Peons in the back building a shop is not gonna go up because Sock is coming from the back. He's gonna cancel the uh, shop for sure. He's gonna lose his barracks though. This breaker needs to move back. That's kind of what he does. Here comes the human army. Uh, clap, blizzard. It is so beautiful. The Blade Master fighting against the Spellbreaker and Militia. Meaning that the Militia actually don't die to the Spirit Walkers. While they're doing damage, it's always good. And now they're going for the Raiders. It's so bad position here for uh, Focus and the Blizzard hitting all the Raiders. And the Clap hitting everything. And, uh, you know, this looks so good for Sock. But we'll see. Like, the shot might go up. And the Shadow Hunter, how much mana does he have? He also has a lot of mana. But does he have enough mana to heal everything up? Uh, against these blizzards, against these claps, the blade master going for the spirit uh, priest. And the priest does micro back. So does focus. Focus has a supply lead, but all his units are so hurt. So he has to retreat, of course. Uh, 
Uh, this shop is not going up. This peon is going down later. But first, let's see if we can get some more units. He has one more bolt. Uses it on the Kodo. And the Kodo does go down. And now these peons. These peons. In trouble. Wait, this one's still dizzy. on hiding here in the base he could just uh send some militia after it instead of his army i think and just start creeping already go to this uh, this creep camp maybe or this one i'm not sure like maybe buy a regeneration scroll is that what he needs he buys a clarity doesn't really need a regeneration scroll only has one spell breaker here hurt and he is only hurt a little bit For here we have a blade master and a shadow hunter here killing a rock column what item is he gonna get it's gonna be a super item is he gonna is it gonna be a comeback in the game item yes it's a scourge bone chimes that's really good is it good enough though yeah he, he doesn't have that many melee units he has one one blade master two grunts and three raiders now and they they're gonna be clapped they're gonna be slowed they won't do a lot of damage meaning that they won't regenerate a lot of hit points Still a good item though. But maybe Sobe Mask would have been better. Or uh, Boots of Kotalas. Oh, Sok! So he's coming for the base with Bloodlust that he just stole from the Creeps. Level 4 Mountain King with even more mana now. Beautiful Blizzard here. Does Focus have a TP? He does not. He does have a level 4 Shadowhunter. He has, does have almost a level 4 Blade Master. Shop is going down, which is pretty uh, key, of course. Burrow goes down. And a tower goes down, but that's probably all he gets. Are they gonna fight here? What What are these units? Two more spellbreakers here for Sock. So going to 56 supply. Folks only at 49. This sorcerer's here. Michael, B. look at that Sock Michael there. But where's the Mount King? There he is. There's the, there's the clap. I was just waiting for the speed scroll to end. Look at this, uh, saving those units with the invisibility. Blizzard there kind of hits a few units. Kodo, what is he trying to eat? Oh, look! That Maiko, the spellbreaker, Maiko the way from that Kodo eating it. Blizzard uh, still hitting some units. The Archmage is in a kind of shitty position, but doesn't matter. He has an info potion and he has a TP. Stormbolt there, other raider, as long as he uh, doesn't die accidentally to the hex. <laughs> does, Blade Master slowed, so the Archmage can get away easy peasy. And now we have Militia walking in as well. Sock did lose about 6 supply. Focus as well. Maybe even uh, more, maybe about 9 supply. There's some more uh, Blizzard. Look, we see 4 dead raiders. More Blizzard. There's only one raider left. It's gonna be f so difficult here for Focus. Again, with just one raider, how are we gonna cancel these uh, Blizzards? You're not. There's not a clap. This raider is dead. The code is slowed. Tries to eat, but uh, he's so slow, he cannot eat when you're slowed. Mount King here, he has boots of speed. He moves pretty fast. He's small, so you don't see him. So at one moment, he's over here. Next moment, he's at the other side. And uh, he's clapping at the perfect positions. But he's actually out of mana. This Mount King that had 555 mana, has Sobby Mask and mana regeneration. Uh, Bronze Aura level 2 is actually out of mana. And he doesn't have Bash. Is this comeback here for focus? Is it TP time for Sock? No, he's gonna get his shop up. I think he's gonna go up. And then he can buy more mana potions for his Mountain King. We'll have to use a great healing potion, maybe. There's no Raiders, so Sock can micro infinitely. And he can uh, Blizzard and, you know, do stuff. That's what he does. The Spellbreakers micro back, of course. Stormbolt there on the Blade Master. The question is, can he get that mana potion? If, if he gets it... Well, of course he gets it, but he gets a clarity and a regeneration scroll. Okay, that's fine. If he gets a mana potion, he's gonna drop both the pendant of energy and the rope of magi, is what I was wondering. And if he drops it, maybe the blade master can pick it up. Pick it up. The town is under siege. Okay, nice. Another blizzard. Do we see the clap? There's a the clap. Archmage is a raccoon. He is uh, in a bit of trouble. He's being invisible. He's still alive, of course. He's on a horse. 
Uh, where did Mother King go? <laughs> He's so small. I always have trouble finding him. There he is. Storm with on the Blade Master. Blade Master, is he going to die? Is there a healing wave? There's healing wave. But that's one healing wave. But the Mountain King, no mana. If he just bought that mana potion like I told him, this would have been an easy game for Sock. But instead, he loses his Mountain King. Sure, he kills the Blade Master. He's still going to win this game. I'm just saying, you know, sometimes it's better to listen to Uncle Chaco. GG. Chaco, you got some pets? I have a cat. Yeah, I have a cat. He's very cute. He uh, meows. Like, meow. he, he meows very high, even though it's a super big cat. But his meow is very cute. And, like, you know. We have, uh, we have an Archmage here, Archmage and Footman here for Sock. And the other side is gonna be a Blade Master and Grunts. Hey Anta, welcome back. The Blade Master is out. Taste my blade. He's Tojara, so he's going to kill this Ogre Warrior. We have a Grunt out as well. They're gonna work together, of course, to kill this Ogre Warrior. What a nice teamwork here by Tojara and the Grunty Punty. And this Ogre Warrior is taking a lot of damage. And he's dead, guys. He picks up a Ring of Regeneration. He finds a Footman. This is Sox Footman. Sox Footman does retreat. He's gonna fight against the Grunt. I mean, does he win that fight? Doesn't take it because the jar is there as well. Meanwhile, Sock creeping over here, killing some Murlocs, killing some ogres, some uh, trolls, a bit of everything. Gets a Claws of Attack and a Cloak of Shadows. Cloak of Shadows, not completely useless. If he wants to hide from the Blade Master, it's almost dark. Kills his Murloc. Here's the Blade Master. Does he finish off the last Murloc? No, he just goes. Yeah. Yeah. He does finish off the last Murloc. First, Water Elemental. Water Elemental running for his life. Does Blade Master finish off the Murloc? There it is! He wants Murloc soup tonight, and that's what he gets. Just for himself, though. It's just a baby level 1 Murloc. Probably is not enough for his grunts. Not enough for his peons. It's just uh, enough for the Blade Master himself. So, Tojara going for the next creep. He's going for the Force of High Priest. And this High Priest is gonna drop a nice item like Sentry Wards. Maybe. A Bond of Illusion. Okay. Not the item he wanted. He wanted the Sentry Wards. Want of Illusion is second best. Archmage finishes this creep. He just wants the XP. He wants to be level 3. And this grunt. Finds a footman. What's the Blade Master doing? He buys Boots of Speed. If you can just find an Archmage, the Archmage is gonna hide though. Archmage has Cloak of Shadows. But he can kill footman easy peasy. He finds the Archmage. He finds the footman. He goes for a footman. This footman is so dead, guys. He's so dead. Run, footman. That's a dead footman. Archmage block, uh, water metal block here on the Tojara. Tojara gets around it. Piggy doesn't block. Footman, I mean, he doesn't want to die. The Archmage, he doesn't want to die either, but, you know, he is not going to die. But the footman, he might die. The Archmage, what is he buying here? Selling. Buys a in this uh, thing, Dust of Appearance. Nice block here on the Footman, but the Footman blocking the Blade Master. Oh, is he going to survive? Are you kidding me? He uses Speed Scroll. The Grunt does it, uh, not do enough damage, but another attack, he kills the Footman. Level 2 Blade Master. What a brilliance. There, by the Blade Master. He's so brilliant. And the Archmage, he now has boots. But what is he doing? If only he could get level 3. There's a shop. Uh, not a shop. A spirit lodge going up. Where's the bestiary? There it is. And meanwhile over here the grunt. Did he just miss the Archmage? This dark. I'm not sure if he missed it. or Oh! What is this? Did he try to buy some creeps? Uh, mercenaries or something? Did it go wrong? I'm not sure what happened. Did he walk into creeps accidentally? Archmage just walks into some grunts. There's Tojara. Footman retreating. The Archmage is not gonna get level 3. Not anytime soon. Blade Master going for the Ogre Magi. Archmage, can he get the last hit with the Archmage? Does he even see it? It is still dark. It's still evening or nighttime. And he's too late. The Blade Master gets another clause of attack, but he's hurt now. That means the Archmage can creep something. Not enough for level 3, but look at this footman, it took so much damage. 
and kills one guy. And Blade Master is back now. But if the Blade Master, he's gonna steal it, but he might get dusted and uh, healing self cancelled. Oh, it doesn't even need the dust. Healing self is cancelled. Meanwhile, over here, Shadow Hunter creeping with some grunts. Blade Master, of course, is illusion. This Blade Master, of course, is not an illusion. Illusion Blade Master trying to kill uh, the golem, but you know he does no damage. He's trying his best for the horde. No, your Blade Master wasn't there. He used the dust. Mount King is uh, is ready with a storm bolt. He gets a belt of giant strength. Not bad item for the Mount King, but not the greatest either. The Blade Master he steals this uh, potion of greater healing. By killing a Ogre Magi. That's gonna be useful. And uh, we have a level 3 Archmage now for Sock. We have a Mountain King, he's level 1. And Sorceresses now, and Priests, and Peasants. Hello, Peasants. Here we have the first Spirit Walker out. The Raider's gonna be here in a moment. Blade Master buying some uh, Clarities, Healing Salves. See, the Healing Salve is probably still from the Shadow Hunter that. Shadowhunter gave him. So just finishing the creep, maybe. Okay, he buys more dust. Level 2 Mountain King. Is he going for clap again? Unfortunately, this game we don't see if he has clap or not. Because this is a live game. Picks up the Tome of Strength. The player's forces are under attack. He's going for this creep camp over here. It's the Blade Master. Blade Master sees it, but what can he do? What can the Blade Master do? He knows Sock has so many dust. The Shadow Hunter already level 3. Are you kidding me? With a potion of greater mana. The Mountain King is still far from level 3. This is so good for focus. Does Sock even stand a chance? He did get uh, healing wards. But if they fight right now, things should be easy fight for focus. Maybe. The fact that they're not at 50 supply yet is actually good for Sock, because that means the militia are relatively strong. The smaller the fight, the smaller the supply, the stronger the militia. But the level three Shadow Hunter is just, oh, is he just gonna creep it and TP out? Oh, that's so smart here by Sock. Get, going for the item, going for the XP, get, trying to get a level three Mountain King. I'm not sure if he can get it. Like, what's he gonna lose? A farm? Okay, just go for the next ogre as well. Yeah, that's what he does. He gets Helm of Failure. Not uh, what he wanted, but the Mountain King has now so much strength. Probably should heal the Mountain King up more. Uh, doesn't don't take so much damage. Oh, what is what's happening? Killed one farm and he retreats. Okay, he gives Sock the opportunity to kill this entire creep camp. I'm not sure if he had pillage, by the way. I assume he doesn't have had pillage yet. Usually, you don't get pillage until you are at least a 50 supply, and the Mountain King is mostly uh, back to full hit points. Could Stormbolt, yeah, Stormbolt is the Blade Master. Blade Master isn't level 3 yet, by the way. I only noticed that Shadow Hunter getting level 3. Footman saw everything, invisible Footman. But, um, so now the hero levels are actually in Sock's advantage, almost as a level 4 Archmage, against just a level 2 Blade Master, with almost level 3, of course. However, he has some nice items. But, uh, same over here. This Mount King does plus 10 damage, has 42 strength. 1250 hit points. This Archmage doesn't have Blizzard in this game. He still has these water elementals. They're invisible now. Uh, because he casts invisible on them. So uh, let's see if he has Bash or not. I haven't seen a Bash yet. There's a Bash. He does have Bash this game. This priest needs to run. That's what he does. He sees the shop here. The shop is really nice. By the way, here for focus, of course. Uh, I think it's important for Sock, if he can, to make sure the Shadow Hunter doesn't go up to the high ground so he cannot buy items. Maybe we can buy them from low ground. This uh, healing ward, hello. Can someone kill it? Okay. It was a dispel, I think. Use on that healing ward. And there's a, a storm bolt kills a raider. That's the last raider, isn't it? That is indeed the last raider. So now Sock with uh, in, unlimited micro. Look at this. He's just retreating, not losing anything. He's going for the grunt now. Kills the grunt. So the grunt gets a healing wave. Militia are dying very fast to the spell, uh, spirit walkers, though. Okay, they're peasants now. The blade master going for a water elemental, but... Uh, Koto, maybe he's hungry. This guy, oh, he was stuck there. He was low on hit points anyway, but still, you don't want to be eaten. 
This just means he's going to be digested so much faster. The Spellbreaker here, is he, is he going to be killed? The Blade Master is trying to kill him. He kills him. And this other Spirit Walker, he does survive because the Malikin was a chicken. Uh, because the Shadow Hunter has so much mana, he's uh, next to the shop. Did he buy any mana potions already? Um, he bought a uh, Clarity. It doesn't look uh, you know, like Focus, even with this shop, he's going to win this fight. There's one Raider again. How much mana on the Mountain King? Okay, Mountain King is out of mana, kind of. He has mana for one more Stormbolt. God, is going to eat another Spellbreaker. No, he misses. What? How can he miss an ensnared Spellbreaker? I don't understand. There's a storm, but can he get the Kodo? There's probably more healing wave. Use the info potion. Is there? There's a healing wave. But there's a bash. What a beautiful bash. And he gets the Kodo thanks to the bash. The spellbreaker does go down. And Sock now wants to retreat. He wants mana on his Mount King. But instead, you know, it seems Focus is retreating. Um, he has uh, mana for another storm bolt already. This is level 2 Burns Aura for you. The shop is all the way in the back there. Focus is now up in supply. The Spellbreaker here. Taking a lot of damage. There goes a Raider. Spellbreaker is dead. Militia showing up. There's only one Spellbreaker now. So the Militia are really strong. Are these his like gold? Oh, those are his gold Militia guys. And he's just uh, killing Raiders with them. And these Militias are dying. They have to go back to work. They cannot die here. They, they need to get more gold. There goes another one. He needs to rebuild two Peasants. He needs to put this one on gold. Or this one. That's what he does. Keeps one on the lumber. And buys a clarity on the Mount King. Shadow Hunter level 4. Blade Master almost level 4. A town is under siege. He's going for that super item. Does he get a better item? Does he get a better item than this uh, Helm of Failure? Does he get Brilliance Aura? Endurance Aura? Death Knight Aura? Command Aura? Any Aura is great. He gets a Hood of Cunning. Mm, usually not a big fan of this item. Maybe give it to your Shadow Hunter even. Just for the 4 extra IQ. Agility also, you know, gives the extra damage to Shadow Hunter anyway, but seems he keeps it on the Blade Master for now. And he's gonna creep this creep camp, but uh, what do we see here for Sock? Sock almost has a level 5 Arc Mage, by the way. But here the Shadow Hunter is also almost level 5. I wonder if he's going to retrain to uh, Blizzard again. It's gonna be amazing if he does. Level 3 Blizzard does so much damage to his water metals are scouting. There's another Grunt, there's another Kodo. Focus at 47 supply. We see uh, Sock creeping over here. Archman is going to be level 5. Oh, no, not yet. He needs 35 more XP. Water Mental, is he blocking Kodo? No. I mean, he kind of was, but not on purpose. So, two Kodos under 50 supply. That's, of course, because he doesn't have any peons anymore. Actually, he still has three wood peons, but he lost four peons. So he has four more supply than normal, and he used that supply to get another Kodo. You know, over here, uh, Sok finishing the creep camp. He has level five Arcbrains now. Is he going to retrain? That's the question we have for Sok. Is he going to retrain? A player's forces are under attack. No, he's going to stay with the water elementals. Buys the info potion, buys a dust. Well, the Mount King is creeping to level 5. The Shadow Hunter is level 5 now. Blade Master level 4 and a half. Mount King level a uh, little bit up over the over the Blade Master. So still a slight XP advantage here for Sock, but it's not big. And Sock goes over 50. Sock goes to 56 supply. And focus is at 50. He can go over 50 if he wants to. He has the burrow. He has the gold. Oh the sorceress! She's dead. Easy kill for the Blade Master. He just kills the Sorceress. Mount King is so close to level 5. But the only creep camp is this one. Not sure what the item he got there. Ring of Protection plus 3. Not bad. For this Mount King. These priests here. The 
They're uh, lagging behind because they're healing. Well, he's actually going for this last creep camp on the map, but he doesn't have a TP. Blade Master finds his, his priest. Where's the invis? Sock not paying enough attention to save his priest. There's a dead priest. He just saw. What did he just sell? He just sold an item and bought the info potion. Not sure what he sold. I think it was Gloves of Haste. Which, um. Hmm. If only he had given that Hood of Cunning to the, the Shadowhunter. Shadowhunter has a Sobi mask. Just a second, Gipan. I'll thank you after this game. The Mountain King here is almost level 5. The Blade Master, you know, he's. Just, you know, scouting for incoming priests. Does he get this priest? He gets another priest. He killed already a sorceress and two priests here in the last minute or so of just uh, picking off units. Will Sock ever learn? Spellbreaker, is he next? <laughs> oh, Sock! Run! Run, Spellbreaker! The Rager 1 0. The Spellbreaker does get away. And Sock does get a level 5 Mountain King now, though. So what's more important, the level 5 Mountain King? Or uh, those units? 62 supply for Sock, 69 here for focus. The Blade Master is almost level 5. He's gonna hit level 5 in this fight unless he dies early. Sobi Mask and the Mana Stone on the Shadow Hunter is super uh, scary though. He has so much mana and he's level 5. So I'm not sure if Sock even has stands a chance here. I think Focus has the advantage. Here goes the Barracks. Sock, you know, he doesn't have Blizzard. He's going for Water and Mentals. There's one. Uh, maybe <laughs> Focus was expecting Blizzard. So he went for Wyvern. Wyvern are, of course, really bad against uh, water elementals. But really good against Blizzard, or really good better against Blizzard. And uh, this Wyvern is micro back this uh, water elemental here, taking some damage. Uh, it will go down in a moment. The one raider went down. These two Kodos in the back are maybe they're hungry. They're surrounded by spellbreakers. If they're hungry, they can eat the spellbreaker too. And the spellbreaker should probably go even for the spirit walkers instead for the raider. Well, the raiders are important. They kill one raider, which is important. Uh, oh, this guy does eat that spellbreaker that was just standing in front of his mouth, just waiting to be eaten. And finally, the Kodo gave in, and he was like, Okay, I'll eat you. And he ate that spellbreaker. The Blade Master here going for a sorceress. Where's the Maiko? There's the Maiko. She does a spirit link, so she doesn't die as fast. Oh, Blade Master in trouble. He has a greater mana healing potion, uses it just in the nick of time. He also has an info potion, by the way, but he decided to go for the greater healing potion. Um, and. Sock is trying to micro back, but he's losing units. He's not really killing enough. This spellbreaker is taking a lot of damage. These grunts here killing uh, spellbreakers. Shadowhunter does have still the mana stone he could use if he ever runs out of mana. He could use a healing wave over there. There it is. And uh, the grunts here fighting against spellbreakers. It's always a fight. Grunts win. The spellbreaker does go down. 248 critical strike. Mount King, you know, against the Blade Master. Can he save it? Yeah, there's a healing wave. And, well, the Archmage kind of stuck now. Has to use the Info Potion. This Grunt here is pretty low. Oh, he did use the Mana Stone now. That means his Mana Regeneration is reduced. But that does mean he has another, you know, 300 mana or so. Maybe even more by the time he uses mana. He has regen so much mana thanks to the Sobi Mask. Another like 400 mana. So these two spellbreakers in trouble. I got back Stormbolt on the Blade Master. Blade Master is just stunned there. It's going for a water metal. This spellbreaker could be microed. There it is. This water metal goes down. There's only one raider. So, oh, we have a level six shadow hunter now. Blade Master uh, reached level five a long time ago. And this priest is going to die. Sock at 50 supply now. Focus is 68. Can Sock even defend here at his base? I don't think so. I think Focus can just attack here and win the game. There goes another spellbreaker. He has to shop even on the high ground. He can buy mana potions uh, for even more mana here on the Shadow Hunter, but he doesn't need it for now. Uh, but maybe healing potion or something if he needs it. I doubt it. I doubt he will need anything. The spellbreakers are dying. Blade Master now fighting against the Mountain King. Mountain King is uh, Michael Beck. He's got and snared. There's a Stormbolt on the Blade Master. He should be fine. There, he has the info potion. There's another healing wave. Uh, the spellbreaker in the front. That's not what you want to do with spellbreakers. 240 damage critical strike is nice, of course. He kills another spellbreaker. 
And the Mountain King is uh, is beautiful. He kills another Spellbreaker, another Spellbreaker. Now he's level 6. Maybe you want a Mana Potion on your Blade Master for the Blade Storm. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't matter. This game is over. It is 29 supply against 62 at this point. Nice and snare on the Sorceress. Uh, oh, Spellbreaker, uh, Spirit Walker guy goes down to Stormbolt. A town is under siege. A town is under siege. Sark, does he still think he has a chance? And what? How is he gonna come back? I mean, the main is out of gold. Sark still has a little bit. Uh, did he just eat the water elemental? Oh, he drank it. He drank the water elemental. Let's see. And he's gonna take. Uh, he's gonna freeze water elemental or try to at least. The stormbolt is not even enough. Because Healing Wave just uh, heals all the damage that the Stormbolt does. And this Spellbreaker goes down. There's a Stormbolt on the radar. He's dead as well. And this, this Priest, he's next, guys. He's next. Nice Dispel. It's Water Metal, very low in hit points. The Mountain King, very low in hit points. He has the Info Potion, though. There's the GG. Sock in the blue. Top right. Focus in the red. Bottom left. He's going for a Blade Master. What a surprise. He's going for Peons. That is not that much of a surprise. It's pretty standard to go for Peon's early game. He's going for a Grunt. Here at the other hand, we have a Footman and, Arc and an Archmage, of course. So what Archmage are we going to get? What Footman are we going to get? Well, the Footmen are all called Footmen. But what's the name of the Archmage? It's going to be a Lannister. Is Sock going for a Lannister? Is he going for a Fortret? Or is he going for a... Uh, Math Singer, or what is it? Mage Singer? Math Singer? I forgot. But something Singer. And what do we get here? Is it going to be Jubei? Is it going to be a Mogul the Sly? Or is it going to be Mikasa? It is... Kajint. Okay, Kajint against Dollar Don Weaver. Is Chaco a common Dutch name? It's not super common, but it is a Dutch name. Arguments here with the Water Elemental going for this. Uh, he kills this guy. There's a Ring of Protection, not the item he wanted. The Blade Master, but did he get Claws, Gloves of Haste? Which is uh, not the best. But at least it's not a Ring of Protection, so uh, he's probably not too sad. These guys are all dead. What does he pick up? Mantle of Intelligence, that's nice. More damage. Blade Master is on his way. Well, the Archmage is just killing creeps. Ah, ah. Okay, here's the Blade Master. No boots yet, of course. Not 7 o'clock just yet. This footman here is being torn, uh, attacked, torn apart by the Blade Master with his sword. His sword is doing so much damage. The footman does survive for now. This Grunt here, he's, he's doing just fine as well. We have four Footmen here with full hit points. And one Footman with uh, half hit points. And what's the Archmage doing? He's fighting against, against that Grunt. It's not 7 o'clock yet. What did he buy? He bought the Circlet. Last game he got the Boots. Is he going to get the Boots again? That's my question. Oh, he attacks the Archmage. That's for sure. We have a frog over there. That's also nice. Can he creep something? Okay, he's creeping this. And he's creeping it with the militia as well. Okay. I thought maybe the militia were going for the murlocs. But no, the militia are helping. There's a grunt though. And the blade master on his way as well. Can the blade master or anyone get the last hit? Yes, the blade master did get the last hit. But this grunt surrounded. He does the anti-surround trick. And he gets the grunt out. But the footman, look at the footman hiding. <laughs> Between the trees, where's the Archmage doing in this? Uh, what is he doing? He buys the boost of speed, of course. And this grunt is so dead, even with the speed scores. Oh no, what? Why? Why not just kill it? I mean, 144 hit points, maybe he feels it takes too long. And now he's trying to find it, I think, maybe. Is that what he's doing? Well, um. A player's forces are under attack. He doesn't find it. And the grunt is now healing. He's hiding and healing at the same time. What a combination of things to do at the same time. The Blade Master does find the Footman. He's still level 1. He doesn't have the boots like the Archmage has. 
Archimedes finds this grunt. Uh, Blade Master is going for this footman and does he get it easy peasy? He does get it and he's level 2 now. But this grunt is taking a lot of damage and you don't want to lose grunts. Oh, he gets bashed by the creeps. And he goes down. And the Archmage doesn't even need to help kill it. And uh, this now the footman gets bashed. Don't let your footman get bashed by this Cobra Taskmaster. And the Blade Master shows up and he's going to be like, oh, more footman to kill. But he gets blocked by his own grunt. And his grunt is getting bashed by the creep. I'm not sure how he managed to get the aggro of the creep on the, onto the grunt. And now the Archmage, you know, he's in danger. Some crits. 82 damage critical strike there on the Archmage. Frog over there. Quack. Water and Metal is going down. He does go down. And the Archmage, he's just uh, chilling over here in the blue. In the water. On his horsey. Footman is my good back. His footman blocks the uh, Blade Master a little bit. Arcane Vault going up here for uh, Sock. Is he going for a Beast Master maybe? Or is he going for the Mountain King again? I think Sock is a very uh, Mountain King-esque player. He always goes Mountain King. He picks up a Replenishment Potion, exactly what he needed. What do we have here? There's the Shadow Hunter. And there's the Tier 2 here for focus. It's ready up. There's the Grunt. Yeah, there's a the Mountain King. He just likes Mountain King. Uh, ball is healing up. Focus is creeping. He doesn't. He can't even reach it. <laughs> now he can. Focus. What does he get? Does he get the super item? Flood of accuracy. That's not the super item. Not the item he was hoping for. He was hoping for more Scourge Bone Chimes or Boots of Quatalas or Sobi Mask or Rope of the Magi. There's so many super items here, but instead he gets fl Flood of Accuracy, which is a super item for uh, other races. Other matchups, but not for Orc in this matchup. Sock is just going for this creep camp. Gets a cloak of shadows. There's the Mountain King. There's his Arcane Sanctum. There's a second Arcane Sanctum. And he's going for the bottom right now, maybe? Yes, he is. Let's see what item he gets over there. He was Shadow Hunter. He's uh, level 2. Blade Bastard is close to level 3. Can he be here in time? I doubt it, but maybe if he gets level 3 here, he will windwalk and immediately go over here. Go over here. That's what he's doing. Level 2 windwalking. He's running. I don't think he's... No, it's way too late. His item is already... Uh, it's Rune Bracers though. Not a great item in this matchup. Especially not for the Mountain King. Or for any human hero. Because there's no magic uh, spell damage here for Orc. Oh, the Archmage finds the... Hello, Shadowhunter. The priest gets hexed. Mountain King continues creeping. He's level 2 now. Oh. And what's he gonna do here? TP out or? Because one footman. He is trying to fight. There's a heal wave. Uh, Stormbolt on the Berserker. Speed skull used here by uh, Focus, but I'm not sure if it's gonna save his Berserker. Oh, it is! It is. It does save his Berserker. The Berserker for Sock does go down. That was horrible for Sock. He lost so much. He lost his berserker. He lost four footmen. Or two footmen. He lost a bunch of footmen. I think only two footmen. Lost his uh, TP. Or used it. Loses another footman. Does creep. Does creep a bit more. Of course, footmen are expandable. Not a great late game. But the Berserker wasn't. The TP cost money. I don't think he's gonna rebuy a TP, of course. He can't at this point. It's too expensive. He's too far behind. He just needs to hope he uh, does never need a TP again. More spellbreakers. Socket 43 supply, focus at 46. Shadow Hunter is now level 3. Blade Master is level 3. Sure, there's no level 2 critical strike. But uh, the Mountain King is just level 2. Maybe he can solo creep the Mountain King here, get level 3. That's what he does. Because he needs he needs a level 3. Also he doesn't stand a chance. Supplies are even. 46 against 46. 
items are a bit better here for focus. He has that heal scroll now on the Shadow Hunter. He still has the flute. The flute does increase the damage of the Spirit Walkers, of the Berserker, and of the Shadow Hunter. Oh, look at this. Here's uh, Sock. Is it this pretty nice position for Sock? These grunts are ensnared. The Blade Masters and the Raiders were still creeping. But there's one footman already dead. Se two footmen already dead. Uh, Mount King already uses his info potion. The Blade Master uses a wind walk to get out of that uh, situation. There's a dust. Blade Master has been dusted. The Stormbolt on the Raider. The Raider now taking a lot of damage. Militia showing up, but they're just dying to the Spirit Walker so fast. Oh, they're fighting against a Blade Master? I mean, some of them do are doing uh, damage to the Raider, actually. And that's what they want to be doing. Yes, now all of them are just right-clicking this Raider. These two go for the Raider in the back. The Spirit Walkers just kill these, uh, these militias so fast. It's insane. And the uh, Blade Master now level 4. Well, the militia are dead, of course. And the Mount King does retreat a little bit. Another Stormbolt on the Raider. The Raider here taking a bit of damage here from the Archmage. The Mount King, is he dead? He has boosted speed. He survives for now. But he just barely survived it. And um, Spellbreaker pretty low on hit points as well. Sock just... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. He just barely survived it. And instead, he's... Uh, He's not out of the game yet. He killed one raider and a grunt. He lost a shit ton of militia guys. And footmen. He lost three footmen. But I don't think he lost anything crucial. He didn't lose his spellbreakers. Maybe one. Actually there's one spellbreaker. He lost like one spellbreaker. Uh, but no casters, no heroes. I'm sure he had to use his info potion. So he's still kind of in this game. Uh, but not if he gets creepjacked here. Focus is at 50 supply. And Shadowhunter has two mana potions now. And this uh, priest in trouble. He's dead. The sorceress in trouble. She is... She's also dead. 138 critical strike is nice. That's enough to kill uh, kill sorceress. This water elemental micro back. This spell break here. Is, is he going down? He is dead, guys. Nice and snares there on two sorceresses. Uh, this priest here in the front gets killed. The blade master kills his uh, priest. We have uh, the gold peons now yeah. working as militia. But they're just XP tomes for these spirit walkers. There, this uh, raider gets storm bolted in the face. Taking a lot of damage. Kodo eats the Spellbreaker. So tasty, of course. Blade Master killing another Spellbreaker. 141 critical strike. These Spellbreakers are just dying so fast. But the Raiders are killing, uh, are dying fast to the Militia, of course. Uh, although the Militia, they're pretty much all dead. So how is he going to get income after this? Well, he's not. He's lost all his, uh, all his peasants. He has one left. Spellbreaker does go down. The Raider even survives. This Grunt, is he going to survive? The Peon doesn't. He's dead. The, the Grunt survives. What a beautiful... Uh, skilled are by the current to run away. S Spirit Walker, I mean, you know, he might die, but that's uh, probably the last unit he's gonna kill. Okay, never mind. He bashes the raider and he GG's. And I was right, that was indeed the last unit he was going to kill in this best of five, even not just in this game, in his entire best of five, because Focus wins.